Okay, this is an example of the interactive computing workflow that I'm putting together on this compute page. So we're just gonna, this is assuming you already have everything installed, tmux, ipython, slimux, bim, all that good stuff. And I'm not gonna walk through the exact commands I'm doing for everything, I'm just going to show you some of the power that we have in this situation, just to get you familiar with what you can do. Uh, so first, let's get going with some proper uh, proper directory somewhere. Let's do that. What do we got? We got nothing in there. Okay. Let's go to proj slash compute demo like we do. All right. Now over here on the left, I'm going to start a new IPython session. And that's going to be among the last time you see me actually type anything over there. And then on the right, let's just start some simple Python that I'm going to do. Uh, now I'm in Vim. I'm editing my Python. Uh, first thing, I always like to have numpy. Now I'm going to send this line, this import numpy as np, over to the left using Slimux. I hit my magic key combination. It brings up this option. Uh, these are the various uh, tmux panes that I have available. It's always session window pane. I happen to be on uh, window number one, down at the lower right there, you can see. And pane zero is the IPython, so I'll send it right there. Boom. And as you can see, it appeared on the left, and it even executed. Uh, so let's make a very simple array. Not sure what happened there. Let's make a very simple array, 100 by 100, say, of zeros, just because I like zeros. I forgot how to spell zeros. That's all right. Numpy.zeros, no problem. What if you want to figure out what that actually is? You can take a look at it there. Or maybe I just want to learn more about this array. That's fine. It's all good. Uh, as you can see, I'm stuck in the help over here, so I'm actually switching back to that side, hitting Q to get out of that, and coming back. Not a big deal. Uh, let's do something more interesting, though. Let's make an array of random things. My, I apologize, my Vim session is going a little bonkers. Random. Now, I don't remember how to use random. So I'm going to ask Python how the heck I do that. Da, 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 da. Ah, so that doesn't actually give me the array. And I'm just going to run a quick test over here. Sometimes I do that. 10 comma 10. Will that give me an array? No. Random dot random dot rand. Oh, gosh. Randint. Is that what I want? Yeah, dot randint. Maybe. I'm we'll just rand. Yes, okay. So this will give me random numbers in the shape that I want. Which unfortunately is not in the standard uh, numpy style with the brackets, but that's okay. We'll still be fine. Uh, I have Jedi Vim installed. Uh, so it kind of already knows some of the things I want to do. That's what this uh, oddity going on here is. But that's okay. So now I have a random random array. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, how do I actually take a look at the array? That's something that I might actually want to do. Let's, uh, let's go over and look at something else. Let's try to search on that. I don't remember how to do that. I think it's PyLab, heat plot. Da, da, da. Yes, you can tell I've been to this page before. PyLab is PL. OK. I like to put all my imports at the top, but if you're doing IPython, you don't really have to. So we're going to send that over. 
and it's pl.pcolor. And I'll want, right. Well, so let's make that array. Da, 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 P color of B has the Jedi helping me out again. And let's make sure we show it. Something I'm missing? Color bar. Yeah, color bar is good. Make a show. That should be all. I'm going to do three lines at once. Boom. And there you see is a little heat plot. Sending exactly what I'm looking for. These are just some random numbers in this case. And I didn't have to go into the left hardly at all. I was able to slowly build up, and now I've got sort of a, a nice setup on the right here of my actual file. Whereas on the left, you can save all the things that you put into IPython. But if I want to just go back and save particular lines, I'll have to go back and clean that up again. And I now see that you can't actually see uh, that <laughs> that uh, heat plot. So I'll just sort that out in a future lecture. Uh, but that's that's the basics of the workflow. It really is pretty much that simple. You open up your text editor on the right. You open up your interactive interpreter on the left. Whatever you type on the right, you say, all right, bang, bang, and send it to the left, and there you go. Uh, I hope to have more videos in the future. As always, I'm available for training to show you this kind of stuff and more advanced things if you're using R, if you're using uh, some other kind of programming, if you want to do more interactive, if you want to do more plotting, all kinds of stuff. So thanks for watching.